Hey guys, uh, Life here from uh, ATEC Office Technology. Uh, just wanted to give you a uh, quick r uh, rundown on the uh, on the new apps and the new software that is available for the new uh, uh, Konica Minolta Biz Hub uh, series of uh, color multifunction devices. Uh, as you can see on the on the new screen layouts, we've got a new uh, icon on the front screen called Apps. And I've got a couple of, um, of applications loaded on the machine at the moment. One is called uh, the i2 conversion server and another one is called uh, eCopy. So I'm just going to jump straight into it and show you under this apps button I've got the, the two uh, apps or uh, uh, programs that I mentioned. And that's what the icons look like. When I press the uh, i2 convert, I'll go through that first with you. You can see how the integration is really taken to a new level uh, on these new uh, multifunction uh, printers. We've got, um, I've got pre-programmed keys here for different types of uh, workflows. Uh, one is uh, scanning uh, and saving it as a Word document on my uh, company network. The second option is uh, scanning directly into a Dropbox. The third one is set up to scan into a SharePoint uh, library on a Windows uh, server. We've got the uh, fourth option which is scanning invoices. Uh, I've included uh, things in there such as separation sheets so invoices could be batch scanned and they're actually saved individually uh, as individual PDF files that are fully searchable for invoice numbers and dates and so on. I've got another option I'll just go back into that one. I've got another option there for scanning directly into a SkyDrive and directly into a Google Drive. Um, all of these uh, scan destinations are set up with more adv advanced attributes uh, such as uh, page separation sheets. It uh, will automatically remove blank pages if there are any blank pages, uh, everything will be scanned in double-sided uh, by default and remove blank pages. And there are other really nice features where you can uh, uh, customize and streamline the workflow to exactly the way you want it. I'll just jump out of that uh, application for a minute. Uh, go back to the apps screen and I'm going to give you a very brief uh, snapshot of the eCopy screen. So you can see what that looks like. That's actually using the web browsing capability of these new uh, BizHubs. So as you can see on the screen there it looks a bit different but uh, some of the same features apply to this one as well. Uh, you can see the one there where it says Live PC. That's actually scanning directly into a folder uh, on my computer and by using eCopy you have some additional uh, features such as uh, you'll be able to navigate through uh, folders on your network and basically drill down through folders and select exactly where you want to uh, save the scanned document. So that's a new very uh, handy, very productive feature that uh, streamlines uh, uh, the scanning uh, workflow further. The next one you can see there is the uh, SkyDrive uh, connector. Oh, it timed out on me again. I'll just go into uh, the eCopy screen. But we've got a connector or an app if you like for scanning to the SkyDrive. I've got another one into my SharePoint which again will allow me to browse through my entire SharePoint site or SharePoint library and uh, a lot of uh, very nice uh, productive features in there. There's a Dropbox link and a Google Drive link. And I'm just going to very briefly show you, uh, now you can't see this, but I'll put a couple of pages into the document feeder. I'm going to select the uh, Live PC option. Uh, next screen it just gives me a warning because I've got a uh, demonstrator's license. Uh, it will now scan the document and uh, I've now selected to scan it into my uh, my PC so I can get a preview on the screen there uh, manipulate the scan document if I have a need for that then I go next and what you see now is actually the folder structure 
on my local PC. So into the folder I'm scanning, I've got a subfolder called folder 1 and you can see as I click on there, there's a folder 3, folder 4 and what I'm actually doing now is drilling down into uh, a folder tree structure if you like. I select to put it into there, simply say send where after I've selected the folder I want to send it into or save it into I should say and um, now we're, uh, we've got the option at the end whether I want to uh, say that I'm, I'm done, I've completed the job or I can create a new doc, scan a new document saved into the same spot or I can send the previous scan document into a new destination. I'm just going to select done and I'm back to the home screen again. To get completely back to the home screen I'll press the reset button and we're now back to home. So thank you for watching, that was just a very quick uh, snapshot of what some of the possibilities uh, are with the new uh, BISUB series.